Passenger. The passenger level is the least demanding experience. Milder initial condition of characters, more resources and animals in the... Tiger? Tiger? Less threat and aggression from renegades, milder weather and events. The survival level is an optimally balanced experience where the aspects of survival and story are equally important. Diversified character traits and in initial character's condition. Average number of resources, animals in the Tiger. Renegades and weather can give a hard time. Resident of Siberia. The Resident of Siberia level is experience directed to the most persistent players where the aspect of survival and telling the story is extremely demanding. Yeah, we might build up to that. <clears throat> More negative character traits, poor initial character condition, less resources, animals in the Tiger. Ruthless renegades and Siberian weather. But let's, just, let's just take things easy. If it's replayable, <clears throat> tiger as in high, or as in tiger. Is that what you mean? Like is he, the AI is an I? Why did you just say tiger is in tiger? That would be better. Alright. Let's have a go. Russia. We were all passengers of this speeding train. Divided into classes, quarreled, find in our compartments. There was someone's story hidden in each of them. War, escape, adventure, fight for change. Subcutaneously, however, we all felt what the end of this journey could be. disappeared and our stories merged into one we've barely escaped death can you hear the shots they're killing other survivors this is a replay from Zminsky Square the Tsar supporters are opening fire to the proletarians. We are talking nonsense. They are just thugs or deserters. Don't talk so loudly because they'll hear us. We've run a long way. I think we can take a rest here and the snow will cover our footprints. Do you want to use the manual describing the mechanics of help will come tomorrow? Yes. Yes, I do. The key aspect of the character's survival is satisfying their basic needs shown in the forms of statuses. Hunger, thirst, frost, fatigue. I think we can work those ones out. Thirst, frost, fatigue. Each of them has its own individual effect on the character. To know them, you can hover over their icon. This character is thirsty. Yeah. There's a bit of clean water in your inventory. Give it to the thirsty character. Oh, wait. Oh, you got to do it on the character, not on the portrait. Okay. Mmm, it quenches thirst. Now let's move on to the character card. To do this, select one of the portraits in the panel on the left. Character card is a place where all the most important information about each character is located. The window is divided into three tabs. We will start from discussing the character section. Each character belongs to one of three factions, aristocratic, revolutionary, or neutral. Alright, so she's an aristocratic. Zofia Butian... I'm going to butcher these, I apologize. Butienvia. Butienvia. Zofia B. Faction affiliation defines the initial attitude of the characters to each other and affects the course of night conversations around the campfire. 
Traits of the character's unique features. They appear during the game as a result of conversation, actions, or events. They can have both positive and negative impact on the outcome of the character's actions in the camp. Health? I'm pretty sure we know what health means. Morale. Means how much conflict and sacrifice a character can endure. High morale makes it possible to regain action points lost in the morning by negative statuses. The morale level can be increased by performing actions corresponding to the character and conducting dialogues in a manner consistent with the beliefs and nature of the character. That's cool. Current statuses are visible in the character card. We got rid of the thirsty one because we gave her water. In addition to the basic statuses discussed earlier, the game has a number of special statuses including, among others, disease, injuries, or mental states of the characters. Some of them may have a time limit on a given number of days. Exceptional statuses may prevent them from leaving camp or block some actions. Action points, where's the action points? Down here, three out of three. Represent the strength and readiness of the character to act. They're used as a result of taking actions, makes sense. Such as removing snow, building, creating items, cooking, exploring, or caring for other characters. Fully functional character starts a day with three action points. Every two negative statuses reduce this number by one. Okay. This is where slot for characters close is located. The quality of performance reduces the cooling of the character. The quality of its performance reduces the cooling of the character. I'm not sure quiet under the quality of its performance. So how good the clothes are reduces the cooling of the character? Oh, reduces how cold okay, no, I'm just I can't read. Characters are getting cold cooled by the weather obviously because it's snowy so higher quality clothes reduce the effect of the cold yeah that makes sense next tab the character is the relationship card the relationship section presents the attitude of the selected character towards the other team members next to the portrait of a given character there are three statistics specifying their relationship trust friendship and credit Changes in the relationship occur during joint work and night talks. Relationships affect the quality of jointly performed actions and the course of dialogues. Okay, so she's aristocracy. Uh, no one trusts anyone because it's the start, maybe? Friendship and credit. Trust determines how much the character believes in the good intentions of the other character. It increases the characters spend time with each other and learn something about their past. Yep. Friendship determines how much one character likes the other and wants to spend time with them. It increases when the characters perform actions together and agree during conversations. Credit determines how much one character appreciates the skills and competences of the other. It increases when actions performed by that character bring a positive effect. Okay, good, good. Last is part of the character card is the My Story. This old lady looks like she had been one foot in the grave before the train derailed. Oh wow, that's... <laughs> Hmm. She's going to be great in the snow then. In this section you can learn more about the character. As a result of night conversations, team members get to know each other better. Discovering their stories and motivations. Let's move on. Close the character card. To survive, the characters will also have to take care of their camp. Within the camp you can build five structures. A campfire. Probably there. A shelter. I'm guessing that looks like a shelter image. A workshop. That's that one. Quarantine. Oh, it's got the icon here there and a fence before building a new camp structure or when it is buried as a result of the weather the action of removing snow must be carried out select a zone where the campfire will be built like here this is the camp structure window before we can build and develop the camp structure we need to clear the area where it is to be erected to do so you must perform the action remove snowbank so let's move to its overview Each action represents the action of characters, yeah, including snow, building, items, cooking, expeditions, taking care of characters. Each action is charged at a cost to form the action points, sometimes also requires some resources. Remove snowbank looks like it costs one. After removing the snowbank, we'll be able to put a camp structure in its place. Optional tool, using a shovel gives the chance to regain the action point. I don't have a shovel. Currently selected action of removing snow is an action for a single character and its cost is one action point. Yep, I already read that one out. This area presents action requirements related to the action. Removing snow does not involve any resources cost, but has a space for an optional tool. Yeah, I don't have one. 
Optional tool is not required. However, if it is present in the camp after clicking the slot, it is possible to add the components of the action when using the optional tool. Hang on, go back. Oh, no more. No? Oh, whoops. Okay, stuff. Unsnow. He's working on it. Hey, we found some things under the snow. Action of removing snow unlock the possibility of erecting camp structures. Each structure contains a development tree in which building individual components unlocks new types of action and further improvements. Currently selected component makes it possible to perform the action of building a campfire. Yeah, campfire should be good. Selected action can be formed by one or two characters. If one character undertakes the construction, the cost will be three action points. For the same work to be formed by two characters, the cost is one each. Oh, I like that. And then the relationships will go, right? Um, and then it'll have an impact of the quality and success of the performer. Let's select the pair option. Yeah, to do this, first assign one character. And then after the second slot appears, assign the next one. Okay, so maybe let's get you. Wait. No, maybe I wasn't supposed to do that. To perform the action of building the campfire resource... Belonging to two resource groups required wood and structural elements. Be able to form the action the proper amount of resources from a given resource, which we don't have, should be provided so that its total strength equals the required group strength. When clicking the resource group slot in the inventory, resource belonging to the given group along with their required number fill the group strength will appear. Ah, we must provide resource from the wood group with a total strength of eight to the resource group slot because it's got eight spots. Yeah, it makes sense. Um, as a result of removing the snow, we have found eight sticks, each with a strength of one. Using all eight building will do it. Select the sticks and put them in. There we go. Now for the resource group, select the appropriate structural materials. Required six, so we need six rocks. I don't have six rocks. You can also drag a resource into the slot to assign it. Oh, the rocks are worth two each. Great, all requirements for the action have been, the action approval button has already been active, press it to build the campfire. Right, they build the campfire together, they feel good, they're tired, stuff's happening, you're gonna get warmer. Messy. This character does not work precisely. The quality of their construction is lower and the credit of the others constantly decreases. Right, in return, during the makeshift action, their morale increases and after a large action, they have a chance to gain an action point. Right, but working with other people reduces the credit of this person in their eyes. I wonder if that's random or if it's related to the actual dude. Campfire has been built. As a result of the work, the relationships between the working characters have changed. Witnesses, that is people present in the camp, were satisfied with the solid structure that was built, hence their credit towards the builders has increased. Along with building the camp structure, its repair option appears. The structure can be damaged as a result of weather or events. The condition of the entire structure is represented by the quality bar visible in the upper right corner. Okay, campfire's at half. To go to the repair action, press the hammer icon next to the quality or select repair action from the action list. Close the window. Protect the area for the campfire. Perfect. The area for the campfire has been prepared. When removing snow, we found some resources lying in the snow. You can view them in the materials section of the inventory panel. Inventory is divided into three sections food and beverage, building materials, equipment and tools. To light the fire, use the fallen needles from the inventory in the materials. Click the resource icon to take it or drag and drop it on the campfire. You can also click the plus icon next to the campfire resource to show resources from fuel group in the inventory. I like that one better. I'll accept it, that's what I do. The characters are warmed up now, but everything has a price. The renegades and dangerous predators moving around the area will be attracted to our camp by its visibility. Nice. The visibility of the camp, apart from the campfire level, is influenced by the number of people in the camp and current weather. To reduce your visibility, you can lower the fire by clicking the minus icon next to the campfire. It will then be reduced to 5%. I don't know if I want to do that. 
Okay. Apart from the impact of visibility, the camp affects the condition of the uh, weather affects the condition of the characters' chances of losing, and the expedition of the camp structures every day. Did you by covering them or damaging them, affecting their quality? Camera is how consistent, determined, and loyal all the people in the camp. Uh, people in the camp are. Improving individual character morale and relation relationships during conversations between them increase the camp morale. Camp morale has a significant impact on the course of some events. When the basics of the game uses many action points of the character. You can finish the day phase when you want. Press the button in the upper right corner to move on to the night phase. Quarantine point. Convalescent care for the sick. Preparation medicines and dressing. Alright, so do we want a shelter first or a workshop? This is going to be something we're going to have to work out over, over runs. What's the, the optimal way to do this? And who can do what? He's hungry. Do I have any food? I have a bean. Revolutionary Wadim Bilov. This bearded man has not stopped talking since you escaped the crash site. He doesn't look like a scholar, rather a radicalized person. Sergey's Ivanov. Uh, he's neutral. This sturdy boy looks like he had been on a military service recently. Okay. And then Alexei Rabinovich, um, who's revolutionary, so he probably gets along with um, Wadim. Yeah, so he's got a, they've got a little bit of trust for each other just because of they're both revolutionary. This man looks like an educated person. It's worth listening to what he's suggesting in this difficult situation. Oh, okay. All right, what can we do then? We give you some food. Edible seeds. Hey, exploits. I got this one. Give it to me. Um, it looks really good. Yeah. I only just started. We built a campfire and that's it. And I'm trying to work out why he won't eat the seeds. He says he's hungry, but he won't eat, eat the seeds. They're called edible seeds. Oh, I know why. I've got to click. I've got to pass it to him here. There we go. All right. Um, what do we do now? Let's think for a moment. I don't know, dude. What have you got to say? So he's messy and he's trustful. It does not work precisely, so his quality is bad. So we should get him to, like, remove snow and stuff. She's distrustful. Initially, this character has lower confidence in all other characters. Okay, so that doesn't help us in the actual um, thing yet. What can we build? Is there a gather? I haven't found any gathering stuff. Remove a snowbank. So I wonder if we need to go shelter first or workshop first. Let's go shelter first. Uh, you know what? Maybe workshop helps us build stuff. Let's go no. Let's, let's, what about workshop? When if we get him to... Alexi, how about you remove some snow? Not enough character AP, but he's got one, and it costs one. There we go, okay. He's finding the stuff, though. This character likes repetitive actions. They increase their morale when performing the same actions in a row. Right, so if we get him to just clear snow in the future, that's good. Okay, so we can build a workbench. Let's... Um, so he can't do anything else because he doesn't have action points. 
What else can we do off the fire? This had a thing. We can make a water filter. Um. Okay, so how do we get the pot? Oh, we need these things. And I don't know if we've got them. We need wood and material. Uh, these works as fuel. Rag. I don't think we've got the stuff. So we'd have to get those things first. Click here or press the button right mouse. Okay, so we do have some stone things. So we could... We don't have enough things. So we're going to have to gather some stuff first. <clears throat> what can we do over here? Making the bench seems really, really good. However, wow, the bench... <laughs> we can do a makeshift... Oh! Hey, that's... Can we do that with the pot? So instead of making a solid version, you can make a crappy version. I guess then you have to add some repairs because we have nowhere near enough stuff to make that. Um, definitely not the solid version. What's the extra one? We just need extra wood. Alright, so we should do some snow removal then. Um, let's see if we can learn something about uh, Wadim. Let's get Wadim to do some snow removal here. can unsnow. Finding a feather and some root and some more sticks. We need sticks. Okay, did we learn anything about water? Hmm. <clears throat> a bed. A warm corner away from the camp hustle and bustle. Regenerate health. We haven't learned anything about him then. Oh, right, let's let's get him over here. You can you can clear this snow then. What him if you're not going to let us learn about you? Okay, it's learning. Reduce the fatigue of the character. Additionally, each character in the camp regenerates their fatigue for every unused action point. Oh, that's good if you don't have to use the stuff. Still haven't learned anything from him. Maybe we won't learn anything until night time. Alright, what do we plan on making? Let's make a... Can we make a workshop yet? I think she needs to become a bit trusting. That requires a lot of extra wood, and we don't have it. Um, so if you want to do that one, you put one person in there, oh, and then we can select you to go there. Oh, I think we'd lost morale just for putting them next to each other. Okay, so that's worth eight, and they're worth eight. Do we have anything for that? Oh, we don't have enough enough string. All right, so we're gonna have to make makeshift. Yeah, okay, that's fine. Okay, because they were worth six each, so we get like I don't know. Hey, Tim Nuss, I'm doing very well. How are you, man? Alright, let's upgrade that. Okay, camp morale went down. This character is strong and gets tired more slowly. Yep. Good. This character knows the makeshift. All camp structures built and developed by them have higher quality. Oh, okay. We've got a builder. 
Alright, that's good. So we definitely want to save his action points for building stuff. Um, what do we want to do? We can either upgrade the quality of the workshop. Upgrade to a metal workshop. That seems like... We want to go gathering or something. The flaying point unlocks the animal skinning action, allowing to process the hunted game into meat, skin and other resources. Unlocks the action of skin the game. I think that seems like a really strong upgrade. Uh, but we don't have anything that fits that option. Can we do makeshift skinning? No. Right. We can make tools though. Or fabric alteration. Wow, so much stuff. Oh, what actions can we do here? So we can grill food. And they can improve the relationship of two characters, increase their morale. Interesting. Um, what is protection against wind, securing the area, setting snares? Oh, that's the palisade. And collecting brushwood. Okay, so we should probably do something out there. We get what's his face to make another thing. Yeah, so we don't. Oh, what am I going to need first? This is the this is the part of games like this that I love of trying to work out what do you need first. Do we need a knife? Do we need um, a hammer or a shovel or a torch? Like, what can we do with knife? We don't have. Okay, we need a sharp. Sharp. Okay, hammer. We. What do we? What do we get sharp from? I wonder if we just get that from scavenging. Um. Let's get you to move this snow. Fence reduces damage at the camp. Get some wind protection. So I like the idea of getting a, um, a fence up in here. But he's got no action points. I can bring in um, Dude though. I have to... Everything is better than working with you. I can't stand you. Wow, she doesn't like anyone. I don't know why he's so negative, though, because he's supposed to be neutral. Um, okay, so we do have some stuff there we can use. We have plenty of that. We could make a good quality fence. Can we just do a makeshift one to start, though? We can always upgrade it. It's kind of strange though how you lose the um, uh, the morale immediately, like just for putting them together, and we haven't even uh, committed to working. Ah, uh, two curbs with the pun. Fun fact: there will never be prerequisites to making a fence or requirements are by definition post requisites well played sir okay we can have mark pass thanks to knowing the area fast trips beyond the camp providing small number of basic resources are possible unlocks and gather brushwood okay snares to get food or the palisade to further reduce damage to the camp structure caused by bad weather maybe oh so we can just upgrade okay if we want to get some quality up 
All right, well, he can't... He can only do stuff by himself. So I think we need to make a tool. I think we make a... Um... Oh, we can't do any of these. We'd have to actually... Oh, what can we actually... It was with their actions up at the palisade. So all we can do is repair. Huh. Because we've got a crappy palisade. It'll just increase the quality. Should we just make a hammer? Or make some fabric? Or some string? Or a shovel? Scrap metal. We don't have any scrap metal. I really want to make a knife. But I think we need to upgrade to like one of these things first. We could just save the action point. I think we could save the action point. I don't want to save an action point. Let's make a hammer. Alright, so we're done now with stuff we can do. She's tired. We better let them rest. Alright, we'll go sleep. When not sleeping, the characters sitting by the fire have conversations with each other. During one night, you can you can start two topics. Each topic is an opportunity to get to know the character but better. Discover their traits or change relationship between the in interlocutors. Some dialogues can uh, unblock new topics or even tasks related to the characters. Select one of the above topics to start a conversation. We get the introductions of these guys. to continue. Right, let's let's go for Alexi. Dear comrades in misery, I don't want to worry you, but our situation is serious. Well educated. This character has received extensive education and can share useful curiosities in conversations. Given the weather and our current diet, we won't survive long without fresh meat and aspirin. We are at risk of scurvy and a simple cold will weaken our bodies. Aspirin. It's damn German chemistry. You look like a scholar, so you know that primitive people lived without aspirin. And they died. Not even 30 years old, on average. Yeah. Because of runny nose? Sometimes, also because of scurvy. Must you be such a pessimist? Do you really think we will all die? Yes, you're out in the snow with one set of clothes. Everyone? I don't know. I can see the beginning of scurvy in me. Oh, my tooth is moving. Moving because you have hit your jaw on the floor during the accident. The shock during the collision may have caused me micro traumas, which will manifest themselves soon. Okay. I think we need to get all the introductions seem good. Crash and slaughter. That'll make them feel bad. Let's find out about Wadham. Comrades in misery, fate has put us under a difficult task. I appeal. Let us rise above divisions. In the face of danger, everyone, a frivolous aristocrat, a greedy bourgeois, or a dumb peasant, must unite and cooperate. Was that greedy about me? Oh. Today we say no to divisions. No matter if you vomited oysters yesterday, or cleaned up the vomit. That's too much. 
Woe to us if at this critical moment we give in to the prejudices or expect special treatment. You, Alexei Rabinovich, certainly understand me. But there are black sheep among us. We must be on guard. Why would you say that around a campfire with 4 p? <laughs> Alright. He's very trusting. Yeah. Whereas no one likes him. Alright, so... He, he got worse off in everyone else's eyes. Um, whereas everyone else kind of liked each other. His character loves to brag. Initially they gain more trust, but regularly lose it during the game. He just lost a whole bunch of stuff. So if, he's, if, that's, his, if that's his initial goodness, he's doomed by the end of the game. They're going to be kicking him out of camp. The shots have ceased. The renegades retreated from the crash site, so you can leave the camp safely. To send expedition in order to obtain new resources and explore the nearby area, press the map button in the upper left corner. Map window is the place where you will manage expeditions. To send the first team, press send new expedition button in the bottom right corner. Okay. The expedition preparation window is the place where you will decide who and with what equipment to send to the field. Send expedition is the action with a cost for one or two characters equal to one action point per character. Okay. Dual expeditions have a lower risk of getting lost. Current state of relationship between characters participating can have both positive and negative effect on the success of the expedition. Assign two characters to the slots. Okay, so let's let's send Wadham. Maybe he gets eaten by a bear. And we'll send this guy. After assigning the characters, we can add some of the resources from the camp to their equipment. Equip them in clothes. It's probably a good idea. Um, and in the case of dual expedition, check the relationship between the characters. Confirm the expedition by pressing the button at the bottom window. And they trust each other, they've got friendship, they have credit. Can we give them a... an anything? But I want to give them something. Guess not. Panel of the currently selected expedition is located in the bottom left corner of the screen. That's behind me. Here you can see the characters included in the expedition, view their inventory and perform the search action of the zone where the expedition takes place. We're currently in the camp zone that cannot be searched. To move to the adjacent tile, select one of the six zones located around the camp. Um, this looks like it's got something interesting. Danger level average. Oh, we should probably check unknown resources. Danger level easy. Danger level insignificant. Is that less than easy? I think so. Let's start with the insignificant zone then. It is a good thing I've got my beard to keep me cold. I mean, I fit right in with these guys, right? Every move on the map increases the risk of getting lost of the expedition and can force its members to stay overnight in the forest. Bad weather increases this risk. Apart from the move, the level of getting lost risk increases during performance of the zone searching action. Perform a zone search action by pressing the magnifying glass in the expedition panel. Okay. What's that one? Window shows items that were found within a given zone. Press take all button to select those items in which you are interested in and move them into the character's equipment. After collecting the items, press confirmation button at the bottom of the screen. Do we want to take them all? We take everything, right? Why wouldn't you take everything? Especially when you can drop items afterwards. Note that the search action in addition to the risk of getting lost has also increased the level of the zone threat. The higher the zone threat level, the more interested it will in renegades will be, whereas wild animals will avoid it. The higher the zone threat level, the more interested the, it will, the renegades will be, wild animals will avoid it. Oh, wild animals are, we want wild animals though. You can continue the expedition. When you decide that will be safe to return to camp, 
you can move to it by going through subsequent zones or by pressing return to camp button through the bottom right corner. Can we, do we just search again or we move somewhere else? Average, average, easy, easy. I wonder if we can go like that way, get back to an insignificant and try again. Let's go to an easy camp. You have found the wild game trace in one of the zones. To hunt it, enter its zone, but remember that without proper equipment it can be very hard to hunt. If you fail, the animal will run into another zone. Wild animals, just like the renegades, can move every day. So we should send them out with traps and stuff. Okay, let's take all the stuff. So loss probability, 34%. Maximum increase loss probability of 60%. Expedition at action points needed to avoid getting lost is 0 to 2. Every move on the map increases the risk of the expedition to get lost and can force its members to stay overnight in the forest. So should we just return to camp now then? We've got a 1 and a 2 and I don't know why, but let's return to camp. The expedition happily returned to camp. They managed to collect so much. Nice stuff. No sharps, though. Um, are we sending another expedition? Are we going back to... Are we going into camp? Okay. Ah, I see. Okay. Why did he take two expedition point, two action points, but he only took one? Oh, is it because he did the same thing? He's hungry as well. They're all hungry. Do we have food? Huh. Poisonous mushroom. No sane person will eat it, at least not in the first place. Right. Berries. Bugs. Disgusting, but it's still protein. <laughs> Edible root. Alright. Um, we still don't have any sharp, and I don't know how we get sharp material. Um, so we're gonna have to work out how we how we get that. I don't think we get it from upgrading the table. Unlocks axe, no shoe. Well, we can't because we should be able to make it now. Using an object from the tool group increases the quality of the structure made. We should probably make, um... Well, marked paths is good. Snares. Set traps. But a lot of these require... That requires... That doesn't require sharp, though. Neither does that one. Can we do any action at the... Can we just fraternize a little bit? We can get camp seats. Alright, we should get her to sleep. We should make a shelter then. We could... Oh, we need material. Do we have enough material? That is not enough. Oh, you can only use one type of material as well. Can't combine. Interesting. So this is saying times four, but it's got two dots. So that's just the total. All right, we have one of these. Worth six. No, we have two of those. Trying to work out the numbers. It's just telling us how many dots it's going to be worth all up. Total. Yeah, okay. We can't combine. 
On a makeshift one, we just need three of those. We don't have enough needles. I could have used different wood. Do we have to clear snow? No. Campfire's down to 4%. I don't know if we have to we boost that up a bit. Suitable only for kindling in a campfire. Oh, we should use those then. 9% is fine. Um, so we're going to have to find some other things if she's going to want to sleep there. And he's really hungry. His character is very hungry. And thirsty. They're all thirsty. How do I get water? Vodka? Alright, well, you know. That should help out at night time. I think we've got to go another expedition though. Um, now let's go out to that one. Send an expedition. You can go with this guy this time. I'll send you with a hammer. Send you with the hammer. If he goes crazy, hit him. Okay, let's search. Events are special moments in the game that can appear randomly. They can be the result of dialogues, characters' stories, critical characters, morale. Findings on the map or confrontation with the renegades or the wild animals. Click to continue. Uh-oh. Events can relate to one or more characters. This is the portrait of the main character to whom the current event description applies or the person making the decision. Additional characters taking part in the event are presented as portraits arranged in the line below the event title. During the event or as consequences of choice made, relation to statuses, life points and morale of the characters may change. During an event, you'll have to make many, often difficult choices. Some of them require appropriate traits or having specific items the characters the camp's equipment be able to choose. You're venturing deeper into the taiga in search of suitably dry branches when you suddenly hear a sinister sound. You stop, close your eyes, try to locate the source of the sound. Do you think it sounds like a growl or purring? Not good. You don't want to mess up with some forest predator. It's called Wolf Down. Take to our heels or check the thicket carefully. Let's check the thicket carefully. You carefully creep to the place where the sound comes from. <laughs> wolf shouts one of you at the sight of the pile of fur. It's no wolf. That's a link. It turns out to be behind a fallen trunk. A shot cat is dying. Beautiful animal. But in your situation, it's only a source of meat and fur. You finish the predator off and cover your footprints up thoroughly. You have no doubt that the lynx was shot by one of the renegades, maybe even following it on the blood traces. Better not let him know about your presence. Tiger track, a predators usually have little fat and tasteless meat, but it's still a very valuable prey. We are taking it. And we search. We found some stuff, no sharp. We got some more needles though, we need those for the bedding. So we have to remember that for future runs. Needles for the bedding, more than anything. Um, average, risky, or easy. We did that one and that one, let's do this one next. I don't think we'll go to the average one. That's a risky. Dangerous! Hey Karin, how you doing man? I wonder if you can search the same place again. Okay, so this isn't costing any more action points to go to more places.
Oh, it did cost him one, but it didn't cost him one that time. So we can definitely go back, like, get some more stuff. That's an easy. Bark berries, needle, we know what's here. What do we just search in here again? What do we want? We need something with sharp. Probably more berries. We want food. This has bugs and mushroom. That has berries and poisonous mushroom, but it's got plenty of needles. And we need... Oh, this also has plenty of needles. Um, that's average, though. Let's go easy. Uh, and then search. Yeah, nice. Give me that needles. We just search again. This is average now. We'll go again. Well, that cost him an action point, though. Alright, let's return to camp. The expedition happily returned to the camp. They managed to collect so much. Uh, it's only just come out this week. It's pretty good. Okay, so we still have some action points. She can do something, I guess, or maybe sleep. He needs to build... Come here. They can work together. Okay, so they're, 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 they're coming around. <laughs> we can build a solid bed? No, um, no, we don't have enough stuff. We're going to have to build a makeshift bed. And then because, Wow, look at that. Because we changed, their morale's still low. Or is that going to be the final result? Everybody's getting tired. Why does it keep coming up with that? I feel like I, I'm getting debated a little bit. Um, okay, what more actions do we have now? Well, now we have a rest action. She's got a hand wound. A wounded character loses health every night if you don't treat the wound and infection and necrosis may get into it. How do I treat the wound? Oh, I need to build a thing? I can't build that thing though. Okay, so we're going to have to make some medicine point, right? I'm going to have to unrest her. Can we do that? Cancel. Yeah. Okay, so... They make this together. I definitely don't have enough stuff for that. Let's put that wood there. That's a that's a huge waste of that. Yeah, let's use those. Oh, they're good. They're helping each other. Hey, Lexi. Hey, thank you. Yeah, it's fun so far. Team worker. This character likes to cooperate. When they perform an action together with another character, they increase their own and their comrade's morale. Oh, that's good. And he's well educated. This character has received extensive education and can share useful curiosities in conversations. Maybe he'll stop saying stuff that make everyone hate him. Oh, she's well educated as well. This character has received extensive education. Okay. So we're going to need to make something for her hand. Um, that's all we can do at the moment. Rest and regain strength. Medical tools. Caretaker post. Unlocks the action care. Um, 
unlocks the action wound dressing. So that's the one we're going to need to go for. Um, we need to get sharp. I need to work out where I'm getting sharps from. Hopefully we can find them. Um, Alright, so maybe she can just rest and regain strength. Okay, that seems good. Right, can we feed these guys now? Who needs food? Everyone needs food. Badly. Um, I wonder the green one is. We've got berries, poisonous mushrooms. Can they not go there? I guess not. Are the characters preset, custom, or procedural at all? Not a clue. It's first playthrough. Two curbs. Not nutritious, but allows you to forget about a cold Siberia for a moment. Eaten raw probably cause indigestion, but it's better than starvation. We should wait and cook those then. Um, let's get some berries going around. Oh, let's get let's get the bean in first. Quite filling. Um, do we have any water? We give them some vodka. We don't want to have lots of traits. We don't have. We'll wait till one of them gets super thirsty. I think. Maybe we can find something better before then. Um, has he got a wound as well? Uh, he's got a wound as well. Okay. So we can hold off. They're not... Uh, they get penalties for having excess things though. Right, let's give you some beans. Or some berries, which wasn't enough. How much berries are you going to eat? Okay, she's good. And let's get you down to one. Definitely want you going out every day. Okay. Let's see what happens here. All right, we want to do. Let's get let's get the other two's introductions out the way. My dear, thank you, but you shouldn't have saved me. I am old and weak. I will only be a burden. Well, don't tell them that. Don't say that. No one deserved to die in such circumstances. Now we have to stick together. Every hand to help counts. When I die, please write Zofia Butinieva, born 1854 in Odessa. Or maybe without a year of birth. I need to think about it. Such a Debbie Downer. Okay, let's get um, Sergei's introduction. Are you coming back from the front, soldier? Me? I am not a soldier. So a scholar? Or a priest, perhaps. The farmhand would not be in the train compartment. I admit that in our situation, I would be very happy to have any military person with us. Eh, this is the past. My division ceased to exist, so you were in the military. Hey, what? Well, well, how you doing? When the Bolsheviks came to power, they will withdraw all. Come to power, they will withdraw all troops from the front. And when the idea is instilled in the proletarians of other countries, no war will be necessary. Oh. Yeah, I got some bad news for you there, dude. Do you think they will come to power without a fight? He's a pacifist. This character avoids quarrels and tries to ease any disputes. The war will probably never end. Only the battlefields and the banners change. He's also a pessimist. Go to the devil with all this. Okay, he likes her. He likes him. He's liking everyone. <laughs> He's not getting liked by anyone, though. 